Oh my god, so cool. Yeah. Yes. Oh. oh. Uh, <laughs> the fish snatched my action camera into the water, so we're trying to get it back. Perfect. What's up everyone? So today is going to be a very special day because today I have with me Miss Shirley. Hey, hey. hey! We used to do a lot of like covers and whatnot back in the old days. Today we're going to do something very different. Today we are going to explore Singapore as a tourist. What are we going to do today, man? So first up, we have the sidecar. Indoor... Inline skating. Exclusive private tour to Keelong. Keelong private tour. Which we are going to have dinner after that. At their restaurant. Yes, so it's like a farm to table concept. Mm -hmm. Super cool. I'm super pumped. Very excited. Let's do this. Alright, so we just want to give a huge shout out to Sony for loaning mm -hmm. us the A7C, the brand new uh, entry level full frame camera. Which is very suitable for me because I am a camera noob. <laughs> I gotta ask him for guidance, man, but. It's super compact, it looks damn pretty. So, uh, it's very small, eh? Yes. It can fit into my bag. Yes, and it is full frame, so um, the quality is there, it's great for low light. And we're gonna use the A7C to shoot almost the entire part of this vlog, mm -hmm. so very excited to try this out and show you guys how it turns. Yeah, so let's go! Alright, let's do this! Woo! Right. Honestly, I'm very happy because this is my first time in the side car. Hi, hi, Gary! <laughs> Counting every second till the sun goes down. Our beats buzz into the neon sound. So free, be anywhere but you're here with me. Let's go. Oh, we're always dreaming. Technical love, like dancing in the deep end. Let's just soak it up. Come on, come on, dive in. Let go. Okay, like just feel the wind in your hair, um, nose. Yeah, and it just feels, mm, you feel alive. They say with the kids of the indigo, like, oh, oh. If it is moments like a perfect wave, don't let the tide wash away these. So, like, we've been here so many times already, yes. but it, it feels. Very different. Very, yeah. Super different to be on a sidecar. You feel like a privileged kid. Dude, yes. I feel like a cool kid. Yeah, I but feel I like a cool kid in town. You're know, like, yo, check out my best <laughs> farm. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thank appreciate you. it. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Bye bye. 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 Take care. Bye. So we are in our next location. We're gonna roll skate. Roller blade. blade I have experience in roller blading. I can blade lah, but not skate lah. It's so very you're quite good lah. No. No, you're not good. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it's our first, our first time coming here. It's an indoor yes. roller blading centre. Mm -hmm. So, we can actually choose if we want to get the blades or the skate and then we can change one time. The... I'm gonna warm up with the blades first. Yes, we should, the we skate. should. There you go. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Can I show off my socks? Oh. Woo! It is really scary. <laughs> it's really scary. Hey, it's just okay. It's just that it's lighter than blade. It 
feels like you don't have like uh, a weight to it. It's easier to lose your balance. Uh, yeah, so actually, oh, it's, it's really really quite fun. Like the skates, it feels very slippery, but it also feels very liberating and light. Yeah, it's not really gripping on your ankle that much, so it's really quite fun. I I like the skates. Alright, well done, man. Woo! Nice. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't see. <laughs> I thought it'd be cool, you know, like that. Just... <laughs> So cute, the dogs. Dogs. Look at the dogs! Oh my god, I'm here for the dogs! Oh <laughs> So meet Kai. He runs this Kelong or floating fish farm to supply fresh seafood to his restaurant called Skilled. And these Kelongs are typically not open to the public, so we got really really special access to see what's like on these floating fish farms. So on these two nets, right? These are where we get our lobsters. Lobsters. Yeah, they are a bit hidden now. Uh. Can see? We have an uncle that's going to harvest some green leaf mussels. Oh yeah. my gosh. It's and cool. all he did, he just like jump in yeah. and he's gonna <laughs> like yeah. put the mussels into the basket. And you know what? Like he has a cigarette in his mouth while harvesting the mussels so like super badass. We uh -huh. We feel for it. So when we know that they're ready is when the size is right. So anything that's smaller we don't harvest, we only harvest of a minimum size. Oh. So this is how it looks like before we clean it up. Right. So after a while, after, when we do pluck it out, then we need to take out all these bunny claws. Ah. These ones. They got crab growing inside here. One. You can see, these are the size that are quite okay. These ones. The smaller ones cannot. You can see this? This is their streak. Oh, oh. Fuck oh. me, man. Cool. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh my god. The fish snatched my action camera into the water, so we're trying to get it back. We found it! Oh. <laughs> eh. Beat it off. Oh my god, where's the camera? Yeah. So the fish beat off the entire action camera. It was attached here. It's gone. It swallowed it. Alright, so I am so starving right now, like those mussels. I am ready for juicy mussels and fresh seafood. Are you ready, Shirley? Let's go! Let's go! Ah! <laughs> right now, we are skilled at Ahua Kelong. So this is like a farm to table Come restaurant. Uh, so like I can really smell the freshness of the seafood here. From just now. Oh, <laughs> I'm so looking forward to the muzzle. I um, highly recommend it. Uh, it's like legit. Like, this is my third time here. So, like, right. This is my first time. <laughs> So the mussels are here. I'm I'm just like craving for the mussels. They are in homemade curry sauce with buns, one whole fried buns. The one we saw at the Kelong. Oh. Right. You have never tasted mussel like this. 
Cornopia. This muzzle is like hard and rubbery, right? You've never tasted this fresh muzzle, right? Guys. <laughs> it is so succulent. And it's fresh, eh? It's crunchy, it's like. This is not the normal muscle that you find. Yeah, really. it's like it's not like the ones you find in the buffet. It doesn't even taste like muscle. It's like clam. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like a giant clam. Best muscles I've ever eaten. Hands down. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm. So good. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Wow. It's damn fragrant. The prawn broth is not like overpowering. It's just nice, right balance. Oh my god. This is a very special prawn agi oil. Hands down. Man. My name is Kai and I'm the founder of Ahua Kilong and Scale. I started Scale because from the get-go we have uh, Ahua Kilong, so we started it because we wanted to reach out to more locals, we wanted to bridge that gap between locals and local seafood. So then uh, Scale was started so that we can have another platform to showcase local produce are done in different ways. The biggest challenge would be that uh, the ed educational aspect of things where a lot of people think that local produce is not good, not fresh, everything imported is better. Why? Because you know it's from the wow. Why would I want to buy farm produce? And then plus it's local and it's even more expensive. So why that? So we've been trying to educate people that doesn't mean it's farm, it means it's bad. To make them understand why local farms should be supported on par or as much as um, the imported produce. The enjoyment that you see people uh, like dining in here, enjoying the food, telling you that the food was good, fish is fresh, um, shellfish is good. Uh, that's a different kind of appreciation that I feel towards uh, the guests. To know that I've been able to kind of hit my goal bit by bit. Like, the goal is to get more people to try it and then with the guests coming through day to day, I can achieve that. Them bed, them bed. <laughs> <laughs> My hair is always in a mess. Oh.